So outside influences helped you to see. Yeah. That's awesome. It really is. I mean, if we think about it, most of our friends, family, people we know, the, some like to just give hints to lead us in the right direction and others are more bold and boisterous about it but it still truly boils down to us and our choices that we make and, and the decisions that we do um and and i just i found this chapter so interesting that two dogs being in the same situation how one can see one side of it but the other could not you know being again it goes back to being thankful like you talked about earlier Maria, about being thankful and, and gracious and you know appreciative of the time you have and what you've been given and just enjoying the small things in life it, it truly it truly boils down to the choice and i and i i'm not sure if it's because this is one question that this brought up to me was Was it the way that we're raised, who we're raised by, that we get all of that, what we think is the proper knowledge of positivity over negativity? Do we just, what is the word I want? Not adapt, attract. I mean, let's face it, we're, we're all energy forces. We all attract some sort of energy always. But is, is it that we're attracting the positive or we're attracting the negative without even realizing it? Because I go back and, and especially writing this book series and I found, found and find that I am more like Bubba and, and actually always have been. Even though we have our moments, like we've all discussed, you know, we have our moments where, where we totally relate to Matt, but if you go back and look, I just didn't realize how much more that I resonate with Bubba than Matt, and, and it took this simple little book to do that. 